Hey everyone, it's Dan here. I hope you're having a really lovely day. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an update with Thor, including my opinions about what their collaboration with Pirate Nodes and the Pirate Ships game, which is a take on battleships, and how that's gonna help both of the protocols. And also gonna have a look at Cosmic Forge as well. What even is it and what does it do and how do you get involved and what is all that about? And just a reminder too, that all this stuff is just my opinion. It's not financial advice. So obviously do your own research before investing into any projects. A big announcement was when Thor and Pirate Nodes decided to come together for Pirate Nodes' game, Pirate Ships, which is a take on battleships. And they've managed to use the Thor token within that game. So it gives a little bit of extra use and a little bit of extra utility for the Thor token. And basically how it works is that it's a player versus player, just 1v1, and you can wager an amount of Thor tokens and the winner gets a percentage of that Thor token. I think the partnership is good because if you can use the Thor token in more ways than just creating nodes, then obviously that's a good thing if it has more use cases. I did play the beta version of the game and I actually thought it was quite good, even though it was, you know, a little rough around the edges and the graphics weren't finished properly and all that type of stuff. It was actually quite fun, you know, the good old thing of where am I gonna put my ships and oh, for some reason I'm gonna guess this square because for some reason I think that they're there. And then you get them and you're like, oh yeah, that's really cool. But the good thing as well with this game is they've sort of done their own take on it in that like sometimes the grid can be different in, in for example, like they might have a few patterns of squares that neither players can actually deploy their battleships on. And they've got things like bombs that you can put on where you leave them and then two turns later, they explode in a three by three grid. And obviously each NFT has its own characteristics and its own special skills. For example, here's an excerpt of the game between Loki and Sheldon, and you can see Sheldon's NFT, he's got Termite Strike, uh, he's looking through the different ones now, I guess, you know, there's Fog, Ghost Ship, Kraken, release the Kraken, I like that one, whatever it is. And so you can basically go, shoot, go through and choose whichever one you want. And you can see how sort of pretty it looks and how sort of fun it is when you're going through and setting up all your, your boats, wherever you want them. Um, I really, really hope that they do a mobile version of this game and make it more accessible for people who know nothing about blockchain and nothing about NFTs to get involved with this because you don't need a massive AAA game to be able to make money. You know, some of the simple games which are easy to deploy and have that sort of addictive loop where you just slowly get better and better and better is, you know, going to be really powerful, I think, for this game. Because obviously at the moment there's a bit of a barrier to entry where you have to have a wallet, you have to know how to hook it up, you have to get an NFT and know what that's about. So it's really only people in the crypto space at the moment who are really going to be able to do this. And the thing is, is that the gaming market is actually extremely massive. It's bigger than the film and streaming industries together. So that's a massive potential market they can tap into and we all know the power of a game. And look, this game looks really, really cool and it is really fun. So hopefully the, you know, they can start to expand it beyond the, the pirates and the Thor communities. I wanna quickly talk about the Cosmic Forge and then after that, I'm just gonna give you my opinions about where I think Thor is going in the future. But to begin with, the Cosmic Forge, what actually is it? Well, if you are familiar with the old tavern shop, then basically Cosmic Forge is a new updated version of that. It's basically meant just to be a bit of fun for the community and it gives you lots of perks and things that you can buy and you can buy it using what's called Prism and you can get things like a Discord role, you can get access to do an AMA question, you can have a one-on-one -on -one chat with a member of the team, you get the chance to enter special giveaways and there's gonna be roughly about 40 things that you can buy with this Prism. In terms of how do you actually get the Prism, well, there's three ways that you can get it. You can either be really sort of helpful in the, the Discord and the mods are gonna notice and give you Prism, or you can just buy a Prism direct with the Thor token, or you can buy a Prism generator, which is gonna keep giving you Prism with the Thor token. Despite doing my best to look all over the place, there's not actually a lot of information about the Cosmic Forge and some of the things that we can expect to be able to get. With the Cosmic Forge, there's a lot of updates about how good it's actually going in terms of the percentage of how well it's finished. 
But I did do a lot of looking through the Discord and a lot of people are asking, well, what is the Cosmic Forge? And basically it's just the same sort of generic copy and paste response, which is, oh, it's kind of like the tavern and you can get this and you can get this and you can get this. But why not just tell us? Why not just tell us some of the things so as a community, we can start talking about it with each other and planning on what we want to buy, if we want to buy anything and what we want to use and, you know, actually building up hype. Because I think that actually telling us what fire and lightning in a bottle actually is and what it does is far more exciting than telling us that the website and the multisig are 100% complete. I mean, I get that that stuff's important, but we don't really have a clear idea of what it is you're even doing. Keeping thought out there is really important. So the hype and, you know, it's always in people's minds. So when all the retail shoppers do come back in and they've got a little bit of extra money to spend on crypto, you know, Thor's going to be right up there because everybody's just been talking about it all the time. I do sincerely apologize if this video came across a little bit negative towards Thor. That certainly wasn't my intent. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I've done a lot of videos on Thor and pretty much they're all positive. And I do really love the project and I am invested in it. And look, personally, I do think that Thor does have a bright future. I think it's really amazing to see the devs still communicating and, you know, they're still chatting and they're still basically what's important to me is that they are still working on their roadmap. And look, when we do get out of this bear market, and we will eventually, then Thor is gonna be all the much stronger th for it. And you know, imagine how it's gonna go in the next bull run. So I am bullish on Thor and I am still supporting it, but these are just some of my opinions about what I think has been happening with it lately. And I'd love to know what your opinions are about Thor as well. Are you bullish on Thor? If you are, why are you? What do you think about the game? You know, all that kind of cool stuff. And please leave a comment. I'll do my best to respond to them. And I certainly read them all. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.